It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host Ben. Now let's dive in. So Bitcoin coming up to that 50,000 as expected. Getting rejected on the first try as expected. Did not even get to 50,000. Stopped a little bit shy. About a hundred bucks we'll say. So on the daily chart, this is a strong daily chart. 50 has crossed over the 200 back here. We are looking very bullish and could possibly break. But when you look back through here, all this congestion, we are in this channel between 45 and 50 now. And it is possible we may stay in this channel consolidating for a couple of days, maybe a week before we actually see it break 50,000. Now it could break. But if it does break early, I would expect it to be a quick break and then a pullback below 50,000. I'd be pretty surprised to see us go straight through it and just continue to rip. We go on the four hour chart, you can see we're making a nice little consolidation here right below it. So I do think by the end of the night, we will see it at 50,000, maybe a little above. If it doesn't break and it's not able to touch 50K, then expect it back down to 45k probably pretty quickly and then we'll see if it holds there for a bounce or not ethereum is in this channel now between 3200 and 3300 it is getting stuck in here once again so it has held up to 3200 on this test so we should see it back up to 3300 but we need to see 3300 break very soon we still have to get over 34 and 35 and we don't want to be taking this much time in small channels of support and resistance like this. So I want to see Ethereum over 3300 in the next day or two. If it cracks 3200, the 50 day is around that 3150 area. And if that doesn't hold, it would come back to 3000. So we'll see. I, I'm pretty sure Ethereum is going to break 3300 in the next day or two. But you never know because we know how fast. Yes, I'm going to say it every single video. We know how fast the crypto market can change. So Cardano having a little bit of a pullback after pushing up to 260, breaking over 250. That was a nice push. Glad to see that test. Looks like we are going to maybe make a little bit of a triangle here. We've got some consolidation and a little bit of sloping downward channel. But another push up to 250, we could see it break pretty easily because it's already broke once. If it doesn't break 250 this time, it could come back down to that 220 area. But Cardano looking good to continue bullish. Today's top gainer, Adam. Now, I've been talking about this one for a while. And the more I'm diving into it, the more and more I like this project. And all the projects that I'm seeing come from the Cosmos ecosystem like Lunaterra, Injective, Persistence, Akash. There's a lot of great projects coming up in the Cosmos ecosystem and partnering with the Cosmos ecosystem. So Adam making that break over 20, getting held up at 24. But I expect it to keep running here, especially if Bitcoin and Ethereum break out. I expect Cosmos to actually make a new high uh, of around 40 bucks from this run. So I am currently holding Atom. I am staking it with Atom with the Kepler wallet. Liam over at Confident in Crypto has a lot of videos on the Cosmos ecosystem and using the Kepler wallet. And if you haven't checked it out yet, go check out the Cosmos ecosystem. Now, UMA is the second gainer on the day. I was looking at this, pulling this chart back. We have a very nice U shape that has formed on this four hour chart. And if UMA can break $15, it could push up back to this $25 area. To this previous tip back here it's actually around 27 28 but i expect to get held up at 25 first we pop over here to coin gecko we can see it only has a circulating supply of 62 million so that is pretty low it is close to a billion in market cap which is a little high but it does have high trading volume right now and with that low circulating supply i think this is one to keep on watch for a possible big move up coming soon so Axie got a nice pop up to 83. I didn't lock it all out yet, but I did sell some around 80. 
And then I put it into Adam right before the big break and then put it over in my Kepler wallet. The easiest thing that I've found to do for a lot of these decentralized wallets and exchanges is just transfer them for Coinbase Pro. Coinbase Pro has a pretty big selection of coins so most coins you can find there at least the coins that you need to get on some of the DEXs the decentralized exchanges to swap out for maybe coins that haven't hit Coinbase yet that you want to get into or maybe even want to stake then that's what I had to do for Persistence and Akash neither one of those was on there so I just transferred Adam from Coinbase Pro to the Kepler wallet and then switched them over in the swap in osmosis in the eco in the cosmos ecosystem and osmosis swap fees were only 15 cents so pretty insane but osmosis right now only has coins and tokens within the cosmos ecosystem but actually pulling back to the 10 day moving average at 75 so i'm willing to hold the rest of them as i've already locked out some profit to see if it can push back up to 85 looks like it's going to got strong support at 75 where the top of the channel was resistance and the 10 days so i'm expecting to bounce back up out of it balancer i've been talking about said this one could break out of this channel and get up to 30 maybe 32 and it did do that has pulled back looks like it's trying to find support possibly at 29.50 but this still could pull back a little bit more to 28 even maybe even 27.75 before we see a bounce off of it but looking very good making that break out there's just a lot of congestion back here on the back of the chart and then on coin gecko you can see balancer supply and this is why i've been talking about this one a lot balancer circulating supply is barely 11 million with a max supply of 100 million but right now only 11 million coins out there and only a 316 million dollar market cap so definitely one to keep an eye on cgld fell in the break 320 again and it's back down on the 50 testing nasty little upper wick on this four hour candle this may pull back down to the 200 again at 290 it's not looking as good as it was when it was in this triangle so clover having that pullback after hitting two dollars this could be a head and shoulders pattern this shoulder's not quite as high as this shoulder but it's close and then this would be the head if it can hold up right here on the support and where the 50-day moving average is, we could see it bounce back up to $2 again and possibly test. It is building higher lows and higher highs, but I don't like how it's kind of start how it's curled over here. It can start it's starting to look like a shoulder, so be aware of that. If it cracks that 150 area, it could drop back down to 130, maybe even 120. Dogecoin looks like it's making a cup and handle. So until this downtrend right here breaks this could easily continue to sell off if it does break here we could see it back up to 35 to complete the handle and, and if it can break 35 then we would see a nice move out of dogecoin up to 40 cents polka dot breaking up almost to 30 dollars looking very very good see it made this big u shape here but this is a strong line at 28 and 30 so we got a lot of resistance here for polka dot to get through I don't know if it'll get through it right away. Now on the four hour you can see, and it's even showing that pressure on the chart as it's curled back down. It is holding the 10 day at the moment. If it can't hold the 10 day, it'll drop back down to 25. So I'm thinking we may get into this, we may get into this as a channel, a small channel between that 25, 50 and 28 for a little bit before this can break completely out over 30. Harvest Finance Farm, not breaking up or down out of this triangle it actually has went sideways so making a channel here between the 250 and 280 area i think this is getting very close to making a break out or break down one way or the other it's very surprising it didn't break out of that triangle and now it's just got like slow buying volume with a little bit of selling pressure but you look close at these candles you can see the selling pressure is coming in at 270 but buyers are pushing it up off of 250 so it's kind of getting squeezed almost so i still think it has great potential to shoot up to 400 maybe even 500 at some point but i don't know what it's going to do with this sideways 
consolidation at the moment. And if you look at farm on CoinGecko, you can see the circulating supply is 596,000 coins. So it's a very, very low circulating supply. And that's why it makes this a very high risk, high reward play. But you can get some pretty good gains out of it if it does rip. So mask does look like it's going to come back down to this trend line or at least really close. I may look for a swing on that if, if my other swings don't work out. Polygon Matic finally broke 150. It finally did it. Ran up to 170. Got rejected there. Come back down to 160 but holding the 10 day moving average. This was a good strong break. 20 cent break of $1.50. So I would expect $1.50 to start holding as some support. And we could finally see Matic start going real bullish and look for a test of $2. Mirror is one of my swings. I'm still holding it. I'm in right below 450. It is right now at 428. The 50 day is here. The 50 day has held up multiple times already. So I'm expecting that to hold. If for some reason it cracks this 50, I'm getting out as it could drop back down to 375. We have this big bowl here, so we need to see a bounce off of that. 350 to complete this cup and handle back up to five because that's what I'm looking for the break of five on mirror and then it has plenty of room to run up to ten dollars and you can see the circulating supply on coin gecko is 77 million uh, almost 78 million so not a super high float the market caps only 333 million and this is like I said a synthetic asset project that is going on so I think it's got pretty big potential RLC is one to keep on watch. It's making a big bowl, big U shape there, up to $5. If it can break five, it has a little resistance at 550 and six, but after that, this thing could start moving up quite a bit again. This was up at $20 at one point, and this is a low supply coin as well. 71 million in circulating supply and only 86 million in total supply with a market cap of around 300 million. So a possible breakout be could be coming on this very soon at that $5 area. SNX Synthetics was the other synthetic asset play that I was talking about. Broke out of this triangle, very nice, pushing up almost to $15. I expect more movement upward out of this, possibly up to 20, maybe more, because like I said, the synthetic asset thing is relatively new and the potential for it the ceiling could be astronomical so we'll see if this continues to rip but very nice break out of that triangle so solana not making a specific pattern other than this upward sloping channel we're building higher lows and we're building higher highs so we bounce in here off the bottom of the slope and support and we should push back up to 85 and then if it can break 85 Solana could continue on up to 100 if it doesn't hold here and cracks below the sloping channel it could drop back down to the 50 at 65 and then if that doesn't hold there's a long ways for it to drop to the 200 but it looks like it's going to keep this momentum and try to at least break out before it has a pullback so that's all the coins I'm going to cover for today we're still waiting on that big break of 50k for Bitcoin that's going to be the factor on which way the market goes bitcoin drops too hard that could cause all these other patterns these other cryptos these altcoins that look good to possibly have some dips and break down out of their patterns which means we'd need more consolidation and then we could see a, a couple of weeks of that consolidation before we get some big big breakouts again we need to keep this up with momentum but I am expecting it to be slow going before we break 50k. I don't think it's going to break that easy. It could, uh, you know, anything is possible, and I'm not bearish on it, but I am just being cautious because if it does start to have a big pullback, I'm going to start locking in more profits on some plays. But we'll see what happens. Keep your eyes on Bitcoin over the next couple of days. See if we can get this strong break. If there's any coins that I'm not currently covering on a weekly basis that you would like me to cover, leave them in the comments down below. And also go and check out the review on CoinGecko, the tutorial that I just put out on the channel going over that free resource that I was just using to find circulating supply and market cap of all the coins. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.